um, this is mine. You can install it still. Yeah. So, as, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, these are brothers uh, who have just been released from prison, Sulejia prison in Niger State. Wow. Man, and these guys suffered since uh, last week, uh, Friday, Friday, yes. And uh, what's your name? Shomo, right? Shomo. How how did it feel like to be in prison? So um, very, from the start it was very hard, but uh, later on you got used to it. Yeah, so to you it. you didn't feel bad that you went to prison for Buhari? No, I feel bad very well. Yeah, very very, very bad. Yeah, but it was my first time of going yeah, to prison. Yeah, to yeah. Prison because of Buhari. Yeah, yeah that's, that's sad. Yeah. And here's the border here. Tell us your name. Yeah. About Rishi. Uh, uh Mesunanka. Yazidu. It's Mesunanka, right? Mesunanka. Basha. Basha. Okay. Uh, Mesunan Kabiru Ghazali from Kasina State. Huh? Ah, you Kasina too? Wow. Mia Faru. <laughs> Buhari, bad person. Ah, Buhari, Munafiki, Banza. Wallahi. Yeah. Danis Kane. Ah, yeah, why? Yeah, why? Yeah, and this is uh, Paul here. Paul, uh, you're welcome, man. I know uh, it's been tough for you. Your wife lost her pregnancy while you were detained. So sad, so sad, so sad. And uh, here's our brother here. Yeah, Abdul Salam. Tell you, that's your alias name. Yeah, yeah. Blessed. Blessed, yeah. yeah I was, uh, How did you feel? Uh, it too? It's so very bad, not because of I even went to the prison, but what I witnessed in the prison was so horrible. Mm -hmm. You met people who people innocent, innocent people. Innocent people that are SARS took to prison. You know, SARS? They, yeah. Two SARS, they just end there, no kids, nothing. Some of them have been abandoned for some years. So wow. One year, two years. So six months, eight months, they're still there till now. They don't have no way out. And I plead to the federal government, any of the human rights activists, to go and help those people out that are in prison that are SARS uh, suspect. They and they are like uh, awaiting trial, not I'm like they didn't try. Awaiting trial, no, 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 no judgment, but they just put it there behind them. Yeah. yeah. And some and convicted and without was, legal representation. And wow. What baffled me most now, I just went there and nothing, without me, no evidence, just for my normal human rights exercise, freedom of speech, freedom of movement. You end up in prison. Yes, sir. I end up in prison just because of the so called there, president. There, there is a case I saw. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell us. Um, that guy from Abattoir, like three days ago. Wow. I couldn't even look at the guy's face. Wow. I don't know what they call this uh, Kolkata or what do they call it? Kolkata. Like, lies. Lies hurt that guy to the extent that the guy had to open his box. And in the night, it blew the bomb. The guy cannot sit with the bomb. Because lies has eaten his bomb. eating it up. Inside the prison. Yes. The whole hand is everywhere. It's not too bad for the government. There are plenty of people there. Plenty of people, like maybe they. Um, no good food, back no lights, nothing, backyard. nothing. No you, water. Oh, yeah. There's no water. Yeah, no water. That prison is the worst prison in the world. Yeah. Yes, you have, to, you have to buy water from, from the, the waters. Senior, from the from the senior prisoners. prisoners. Yes. Imagine. And the waters are wet. Well. So, so they're just, and here are just. And the food water. they are giving them. They, I thought they budget 500 for breakfast, 500 for lunch, and 500 for dinner. But it's horrible. The food they are giving them, like a gauza and a... Me and Kuka. Wow. Everything is, to me is equivalent to one and naira. It's it's not to me. Nigeria is not worth all this um, this thing. But I think we, the struggle continues. We yeah. Take it back. Take it back, man. In my own cell, there is no toilet and no bathroom. Sure. So wow. Nigeria know, prison. If you want to wow. pee at night, because they would have locked the cell, you want to pee, you have to pee in a bowl and so it's. Nigeria prison, our country, no vessel. <laughs> And you have to the window. If you want to go, use the toilet, you can't use the toilet until the next day. Wow. You have to open the door by 7 a.m. Wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. A lot of people are coming. Government detain us here yeah. for complete one week. For no good people. accommodation. Toilets, no good No, no good um, vegetables. You have to sleep. Ah, it's just goodness. one side. Four five people. You want to shower. You have to Because of government, I have lost a lot of contact. I have lost a lot of contact. Because of government, they put me there for complete one week. That's so. Yes, that's but the good thing is, those in there are happy we are doing this out yes, there. Yes, they are. Oh, they are wow, that's good. They are happy for us because yes, they, they are happy with NSAS and the protest. Yeah, that you are, you are 
answers. They give you respect. So they are aware of the protests going yeah. out on us. So. The real criminals are in the National Assembly, in Asso Rock, and other places. We are protesting because of the real criminal, and the real criminal are with the government to fight us. Seriously, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it's just another experience you have to just have. Because our government have to go through a lot for this one week. Yeah, man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking with uh, the Abuja Six. There's a six persons who were arrested last Friday when we went out to protest against the government at the National Assembly. Yes, sir. What is so sad about the, the, the open fire on us, and, uh, fire on us. and then fire. we, some of us left and some of them, they I used the corner. They, 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 they are tear gas, they should hit more they, my leg. They shoot you in yeah. the leg. Yeah. You, wow, Look wow. at this one. Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so sad. Sorry about what happened to you. Yes, if you're out there and you're hearing these guys, um, we have to continue the struggle. Uh, the person that broke my heart most was uh, Kabiro, who was, uh, is a minor, he's yes. like 15 years old. 15 the years police, the, they forced him to, uh, to put 20 years old. Yes. He just came to Abuja for the first time, three days before he was arrested. Came all the way from Kasina, which is President Buhari's uh, hometown. hometown. And he was arrested. He wasn't even actively participating in the protest. He was just standing by. You come from Dara? Dara. Wow. Kai, man. You Dara too? Wow. That's so sad. These are this these guys came from Buhari sometime. Look at what Buhari did to them. You know. Are you from Dara too? <laughs> you know. And uh, while you guys were away yesterday, they issued. Uh, a signal to get me arrested too so i may be going to prison but i don't care uh these people have to be defeated we must pray the country for all of us and uh, nobody should live in, you know what did when i say yesterday when i was issuing the statement about them planning to arrest us that even if we can't do it for ourselves we must do it for the next generation that they don't live this kind of life life of unemployment Life of suffering, life of slavery, slavery life of repression, oppression, incompetence, corruption. We have to change the narrative. And look at this guy. This guy should be in school. He came to Abuja, and we will get you in school. Eh? Koba Koba. Uh, uh, Makaranta. <laughs> so you're looking at him. He wants to go to school, right? He wants to go to Makaranta, which is the name for school. In Tell him, I say he want, we want him yeah. to get to school. So, but in the meantime, we will, we will support. Oh, so he's doing with Barrow. Hey, man. So now he came to Abuja for wheelbarrow yeah, to be pushing. No, no, uh, no, what is she? But uh, Dr. Chidi is listening to us. Dr. Chidi will walk to see if we can get him some support. Uh, if we we'll be, we'll be at the happiest person if he goes back to school. Yeah, all right. Now I go to so say yeah. So guys, uh, these are the Abuja six people just came out of uh, Suleja prison. Miss T, man. Citizen journalist. Citizen journalist. It's his first time. Uh, she went back. To, she went to prison. You know, she used to come and see me in prison. So now she has understood what it means to go to prison. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so so much for your resilience. We are going to live in a country where one day you will tell a story about what you did for Nigeria. You know, uh, I'm so proud of uh, Kabira, man. Uh, in court that day, he was just like crying and uh, 
everybody felt bad for him. But look at him, he's a stronger person. That's the, that's the nature of uh, oppression. It makes people strong, convicts. And now this one will just become Mandela one day. They will say, ah, how did you find out? It was because when he was young, they made him strong. Yeah. So, uh, so thank you guys so, so, so much. I'm uh, here with uh, our folks who just came out of detention. Uh, yesterday, you guys heard me when I was talking about I'm going to show you my face. I'm talking about them planning to put me in jail as well. Uh, but you know I'm not worried about them. We are customers to all these criminals. But we can't be afraid of them. We can't live in perpetual fear. It's not possible. It's, we just have to live. Must get justice for Nigeria. That's it. Justice, for yes. For the innocent. So uh, thank you so, so much. We're going to end uh, this broadcast now. If there's any need for us to broadcast to you, later we'll get back to you. Thank you. Uh, I think Dr. Chidi went always live, so you can watch him. He'll give you an update about what's happening. Thank you.